Welcome to my CCNA training series, my name is Trevor. This video is going to explain the network layer. The network layer is layer 3 on the OSI model and it has three main functions, logical addressing, routing, and path determination. The type of addresses that exist at layer 3 are IP addresses. IP, which stands for Internet Protocol, is considered a logical address since it's configured in software and it can be changed. It's important to understand that logical addressing and physical addressing are different concepts. A physical address is referring to a layer 2 MAC address that's burned into an interface during its creation in the factory. Physical addresses cannot be changed. So make sure you take note of this. A physical address is a layer 2 MAC address. A logical address is a layer 3 IP address. In order for a host to connect and communicate on a network or on the internet, an IP address is required. It also needs to be unique so that it can be identified on a network. Routing is the next concept I wanted to expand on. IP routing, or just routing for short, is the process of forwarding IP packets. As a network rule, if two hosts are in the same network, they are able to communicate to each other freely, and this is without the need for routing. However, if two hosts are in different networks, then a layer 3 device, such as a router, is required so that it can perform IP routing and actually route those packets to the correct device on the other network. It is potential that there may be hundreds of devices in between the two hosts that are communicating on the network, so this is where the term path determination comes into play. Path determination is whenever there's redundant routes in a network and routing protocols are then utilized to learn and calculate all the possible different route variations that exist in the network. And then the best path is chosen. Routers, firewalls, load balancers, and layer 3 switches are going to be the most common devices at this layer as well. Thank you for watching this training video. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.